we have an awesome matchup for the fourth game of the week of the high school football season between two top five ranked teams at Andover Central and Goddard Eisenhower. The fourth ranked 5A Eisenhower Tigers been off to a hot start, especially on defense. In three games, they've only allowed one team to score more than seven points. I caught up with some players about where they think the team is at right now. I think kind of the mindset this year, we came in with a different mindset of having culture. We had a big emphasis on culture this year and keeping the intensity up at practices. They're a lot like Salina Central defensively. And um, I, I feel like we can uh, attack those gaps and attack their uh, DBs. So we'll have a good, really good chance against them. As for the Andover Central Jaguars, the 2021 4A state champs looking like they might be cut from the same cloth this season with wins over Bueller, Mays High, and Arc City. But this week set up to be the team's toughest challenge yet. It's a challenge, though, the players are looking forward to. I feel like kind of slacked off against Arc City, but if we have more intensity and keep playing like we're playing, I think we'll just be just fine. I think we're going to have to play hard off the ball, just really, really fast and physical because they, they're they a little bit smaller up on the, on the O-line compared to other teams, but they're a little bit faster as well. So we have to take into the consideration that they're going to be off the ball sooner than harder than usual opponents. And we just need to be like ready and aware of what's going on so we can adapt to that and, you know, do our job. It's Wednesday, which means time to unveil our game of the week for the fourth Friday of the high school football season. The fourth ranked team in 5A, Goddard Eisenhower, hosting the third ranked team in 4A and over Central. Let's begin with those visiting Jaguars. After squeaking out wins in their first two games against Bueller and Mays, Jags able to control their matchup last Friday against Arc City, 25-6 that victory. I talked to head coach Derek Tuttle about the challenge the Ike Tigers will present on Friday. Well, I, I think they're a pretty deep team that shows you because of the, the platoon that they're, they're doing, doing, you know, on, on both sides of the ball. Um, they have a lot of playmakers. Uh, you know, the Dickman kid for years has been an outstanding return guy, um, and he has a lot of speed. And, and their, their quarterbacks is one of the kids who's kind of come up through the program and developed really well the last couple of years in their JV system and stuff. So um, they're, they're a very well-coached, well-rounded team. And speaking of those Tigers, they have already won as many games this season as they did a year ago. And we spoke to the team during our season previews. Head coach Darren Fisher was preaching to the squad about finishing games strong. Well, I'd say his tactics have worked so far. Fisher spoke about that and this week's upcoming matchup. We, we keep track of it. It's one, it's one of our goals that the guys wanted to set was, was win the fourth quarter. Um, and so far in the, the last three games, we've, we've outscored the opponent in the fourth quarter. They're, they're always good. They're, they're well coached, and they're, those guys play hard. Um, Coach Tuttle does a great job with his, uh, with his football team over there in Andover Central, so I'm expecting a, a tough, hard battle Friday night. 